Hello everyone, I'm back with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be up against uh, Lord Dimka, and the map of choice, or the random map that was selected, would be Simum. Now, as we all know, different map, different playstyle, and so on, and this map is not an exception. So, a player here can actually go a variety, you know, like a lot of variety, either go camp, go for avia, super weapon, uh, go land, toe to toe, things like that. Alright, so here goes, the battle's loaded, and uh, we're gonna go for the initial three rack start. Okay, three barracks, three supply center, and two power plant, upgrade HQ2, boost of the uh, infantry scouting, uh, training and scouting. There it goes, collecting those containers. Now, of course, as a resistance, you always, always want to. You know, you always, always want to take advantage of hiding. Although, he actually beat me to that super container due to the distance. I was not actually expecting that he is already there. So, that that's quite sad for me. Alright, service is already here. He, since he already got, like, the super container, there's not really that much to contest right here. So, we're gonna have to fall back. And, uh, or maybe try to pick up this Cerberus as we go along the way. And then, of course upgrading our hq since we already got like seven supply centers or eight supply centers right there due to the map layout also adjust your number of supply centers since for shorter or smaller maps will require you to go for six or seven supply centers at the very least some maps will allow you or will not punish you for having nine or eight to ten supply centers on some maps given the map layout Okay, there was like an annoying scout right there that the one rifleman trying to get rid of. Going back to the action here, that wasp actually got rid of that Cerberus. And then we take this opportunity to scout the enemy base using the wasp. Meanwhile, if you mentioned there, I mean, like I mentioned earlier, you guys can actually see those riflemen from, you know, hidden across key point section of the map. You see here, so there will be no sneaky peeky when it comes to those kinds of uh, Seraphim ambushes attacking you from a blind spot. Okay, scout. Very good scout, I have to say. Then retreat. That Seraphim is almost out, I believe. And then, of course, we're going to have to get more porcupines. Says, you know, like porcupines are like the best thing that you can have against a Seraphim early on in the game. And then, of course, accompany it with a Jaguar or an Armadillo that you've used to collect the Super Container at the start. That's That can actually really help. And then, of course, Scout to find out, you know, where that Seraphim is coming from. Okay, fast forward a bit. Avia Factory going level 2 for Avia, of course. Ah, here goes the Seraphim. Again, I was actually notified where, where that Seraphim is coming from thanks to these riflemen's right here. As you guys can see, it can actually see majority of the map if like half section of the map. So I was already expecting that pork, uh, that Seraphim, hence that's why my porcupines are here. It's just that, of course, the speed of the Seraphim is actually very, very fast, especially with the passive turned on. So... It can actually get away because I only have a limited number of porcupines here and, well, basically its intention was to scout me primarily. I'm going to have to try and chase after that Seraphim. Okay, oh, here it is. Low on HP. However, my wasp is really that upgraded. Okay, my wasp has been destroyed, although it's not really that useful for me. Gold scouting boost to chase after that Seraphim. Okay. Now, what that Seraphim held was, well, its value was the worth of scouting my base, and the damage so far is just the Wasp as a casualty. Again, scout with the Hawk right here, HQ level 4, going Solaris, full land army composition. And I believe this Avia Factory was just to throw me off. Okay, Super Container appearing right here. Positioning my army to, of course, get that super container. Now, again, using a VL kill scout boost or a boost of scouting, depending on the uh, unit category, can actually help speed up the capturing process of the super container. So, 
the small boxes that you get at the start when using a gold scouting boost for whichever unit it is it will actually apply to the super container so fyi on that leviathan now if you guys noticed um i'm actually going for more on the land army composition of things with the two vehicle factory and later on i'll be adding a third special vehicle factory for porcupine mammoth production since the emphasis of this battle is me using mammoths another scout and eliminating an enemy scout again that's going to cost him like 40 resources to get that replaced solaris mm, very very important uh hidden infantry right there and then another scout confirming what he has since of course we don't want to be uh you know outplayed by that avia factory when we don't want to be caught off guard Oh man, that's just so sad that that a rifleman passed away. <laughs> okay, only a few Zeus here. Five Zeus. Majority is Typhoons. And uh, we got like an army here. So I have more number of Jaguars in Anti-Air. So we pretty much have the similar type of build orders. Just that I have Avia and he doesn't. Okay, and here we go. Positioning one porcupine on top since I don't really need anti-air at least in uh, At least against the seraphim, you know But majority here goes I don't really need it since the enemy doesn't have avia here goes Moving my uh, leviathan away moving that chameleon around Okay, okay, you missed buddy you missed Moving that and this Seraphim or no 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 Leviathan is now going to launch its nuclear BAM Okay that's actually a solid hit and I don't think that uh, Lord Timka actually used a air raid boost again FYI an air raid boost reduces the damage taken from any form of avia and the Leviathan is not an exception Now keep in mind the number of mammoths that I have right here and it's only targeting that that's Solaris. You know, with the recent patch of this game, the artillery has been buffed. And as you guys can see, I'm not even going to last that uh, that much longer without the support of those mammoths firing at the background. And then, of course, the micro on that chameleon, keeping it alive by just moving around. Okay. Recovery boost is, an, is a very, very important boost that you need to utilize to, of course, recover the HP of all the units including the heroes this includes everything that you have as long as it has ap but it does not recover fuel and or energy of chameleons fyi on that okay here we go we're going to have to try and chase however he's already in position right here now again mammoths at the back just scored a free shot and then it's going to run away okay scout again Nothing really crazy here so far. He's just spamming the Zeus Typhoon shield button. Okay. Again, recovery. I'm not switching to any other boost. Slowly building up my Avia. I actually planned on adding one more Avia factory at the latter part of the game. Since I plan to have Albatross and bomb those, those uh, vehicle factories that this guy has. Ooh. Okay, well, we just scored a free hit out of that scout. And then, of course, that nuclear. Let's see how this goes. Oh, the, the shield turned off. The shield ran out of energy on time. <laughs> what a timing. Okay, again, the spread. The spread on the army. There's actually a little bit of a mistake here. And voila. Bam. Okay, that was a huge chunk of damage right there. Good thing that it then caught my chameleon. But majority of the wind goes to me. I was actually lucky that the shield dropped due to running out of energy. Now I'm going to have to chase after that Zeus and the Solaris. Oh. Okay. Fast forward a bit. And we're going to have to gather this uh, super container. He does have a ton of army right there. Again, since he capitalize on the on the land army or vehicle side of things 
Okay, that's what we want to be careful for. You know, uh, normally this uh, Solaris is very dangerous because if it's going alone like that, it can use a gold scouting boost, see further, and then launch the skill, destroys your unit, and then run away. You need to be very, very careful. And to avoid that from happening again, I won't even take the risk. I'm going to have to position my porcupines in front. However, this is actually Miss Micro on my end. Sorry about that. Again, recovery boost. As you can see, the Leviathan now has full HP. Proper spread of that chameleon. Now, I mean, I'm, I actually have them activated prior to the engagement because I don't want this the enemy to see where my units are going to be since they can just literally force fire on them. Okay, Leviathan in front since there's no vertex or whatever shenanigans. Here we go. Mmm, solid hit. Destroyed one of my uh, chameleon with that Solar Strike. However, that's just one chameleon. And then that resets the cooldown of, of that entire um, skill. Ooh, my chameleon also run out of energy, so we don't really need to make haste here. As I'm actually ahead, and that's there. Solaris! Nice. Nice one. Nice, nice. Okay, again... As you can see, those mammoths from the back or at the back of my army are actually scoring a, you know, like free shots, dude. I mean, what gives, right? Free shots are are always welcome here. Now, again, since the mammoths are so slow, I'd rather use a gold scouting boost and, uh, you know, I mean, in terms of retreating, of course, we wanted to get into a position. Now, wow, this mammoth is so pissed off at that assault. Okay, scout again. See what the enemy has now. Okay, replacing that Solaris that this guy lost. Now, I noticed that he doesn't have anti-air, only typhoons, which he is using. So, I mean, that's not a bad idea, although that kind of leaves his base vulnerable. So additionally, he doesn't have a vertex on top of the defense, things like that. So, you can actually use the vertex for defense okay now and here we go i'm actually having the leviathan here up front and the mammoth's already deployed okay and uh, i'll have my hawks destroy the scouts here so that they will not notice my leviathan coming over oh here we go porcupine ahead ahead of the army one porcupine to see this coming and I'll be notified of that Solaris because that Solaris, again, can use a gold scouting, smash your enemy units that are clumped up, and then run away. Okay. Ooh, I picked up a shield right there. One shield has been destroyed. Miss Micro here on my end. You should always have the Chameleon advance a little bit first before you double tap on those Jaguars and or Mammoths because of this. Now imagine the enemy saw this before the chameleons uh, arrive to cover some of the jaguars here they'll be able to force fire where those clumped up jaguars are and well you know how that goes those jaguars will be destroyed okay let's see how this goes you see they'll just force fire to where the jaguars are located since they saw it before the chameleon covered them this is one of the reasons as to why we wanted to have the chameleon up front or a porcupine up front and then a chameleon at the back of the porcupine activated the, the pork the chameleon so that of course we can avoid any whatever shenanigans okay now my leviathan actually made it uh, way past here i got like hq level 5 full command points and i'm now going to have to somewhat turn off some of the chameleons here to regenerate the energy Okay, and then get into a position. Lots of units queued up. A gun tower here. Again, I got like a ton of mammoth, ton of jaguar, and a little bit of porcupine in the event that this guy may have seraphim. Okay, now I'm going to attack his base since uh, I noted earlier that there's actually no anti-air whatsoever. And there it goes. Bam. Okay, a huge chunk of damage. And again, engagement right here. Chameleons are already activated, and if you notice that those mammoths at the back, 
having free shots of their life. And, uh, yeah. See? Move the chameleon around. Some of the jaguars has been exposed, but I don't have anywhere to run to. So I'm going to have to use my hawks right there. Now, as you guys can see, those units are actually very tough. It's just that the mammoth do pack quite a punch. Okay, their damage are more than that of the of the jaguars. It's just that the jaguars fire more often, reload faster than that of the mammoth. But in terms of bursting someone, mammoth is the job, dude. And again, my Leviathan here. Okay, just uh, trying to be annoying. It's actually Miss Micro at this point, but that's gonna be it. This guy already left the battle, and it's already clear as day as to who would win. You know, I mean, I can either go for a lot of ways here, like nuke him, go for Albatross, toy around, do contracts, things like that, and he won't be able to do anything. So, at best, I'm tr just trying to destroy that X facility and be gone. Well, my Leviathan has been destroyed, but whatever. Okay. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and turn on the notification to all notifications so you're not going to miss an upload or stream from my channel. Likewise, thank you so much for watching, have yourself a great day, and good luck with your battles. Bye bye Oh my goodness. Using a stupid amount of naval attack, even if there's no navy. <laughs> Contracts can make you look crazy sometimes. GG.